What's happening guys and gals? Welcome back to another episode with Mom and Papa Joe's. First thing I want to do man is to really thank you guys. We recently eclipsed the 700 mark in subscribers. Thanks to each and every one of you. We really, really appreciate it. And as we continue to grow, uh, you can expect uh, to get some of the most awesome videos we can, we can produce. Next thing I want to do is to thank you guys who, uh, who know Trooper and who don't know Trooper. Trooper is our dog that recently uh, seriously cut his paw and ended up getting stitches. He is recovering very well. And uh, we want to thank you guys for all the well wishes. If this is your first time stopping in to check out our channel, uh, please let me know what you think. And if you appreciate what you see, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. Uh, ring that bell. Tell a friend. That way you'll get notified of our weekly uh, videos. I think we're doing a pretty good job of uh, providing you some quality content. Today's menu is going to be a whole roasted chicken. We're going to do a butter herb chicken on the Traeger uh, Timberline 850. I've, I've been drying that bird out for uh, some 24 plus hours uh, in my fridge. Uh, and I'm hoping to get that skin as crispy as I possibly can with a nice crusty uh, exterior. Uh, let's see how that goes. We're going to head into the kitchen and get started. So let's get this herb butter started. What I've got here is one teaspoon of each of the following. Minced onion, rubbed sage, uh, oregano leaf, thyme, parsley, dry parsley that is, uh, rosemary, garlic powder, and some cracked black pepper. One teaspoon of each into my mixing bowl and for this recipe you can ab absolutely use fresh herbs if you choose to uh, you can also mix and match herbs as you see fit along with this mixture of herbs I'm going to use my favorite poultry rub I'm gonna start with one half tablespoon of the Barnyard Pimp from Texas Oil Dust. This bird uh, was salted and left in the fridge to dry. So it's got, uh, it's got a fair amount of salt in it. I don't want to add too much more. The butter I'm using which is right here, room temperature. I've got two half sticks. So I've got one stick of unsalted butter. And we're just gonna mix to incorporate the rub mixture. This is something I think you can absolutely do a day in advance and the flavors might develop even more uh, than you would get uh, using it uh, immediately after mixing. But not a problem. I still think this is going to be absolutely awesome. Our bird today is a five and uh, five and a quarter pound Sanderson Farm chicken. I am not doing anything bear can or anything of the sort. I've simply got a, uh, a little poultry rack that uh, works pretty nicely. I'm not going to waste a good beer on, uh, on chicken. So this is pretty simple as it gets. First thing I'm going to do is try to stick some down inside uh, the breast skin. And uh, during the cook, that was going to melt down and hopefully baste the meat as it cooked. Not going to do much else. Again, remember this chicken was salted, so I did not want to add too much more salt to it. And this is just about playing now with your food. This is something the child I really love to do. Uh, to just paste and paint this all over this bird, this butter herb mix. 
I'm gonna try to tuck these wings in between the breast and the quarter. As long as the wings are tucked, the wing tips are touching skin or touching another part of the bird, they won't burn. If you leave them out there uh, hanging by themselves, they will definitely burn. All right, so we're gonna call that good. See you outside. So today we're rolling with the uh, Timberline 850 and we're rolling hickory pellets. I've got that little uh, piece of foil in there. I just came up with the bright idea of uh, trying to capture some of the juices that this bird releases. And uh, if it works out, I'm gonna try to make a, a little gravy to go along with our simple dinner. I anticipate this is gonna take some place in the neighborhood of uh, hour and a half, hour 45 minutes, maybe, maybe even two hours. We're running at uh, 375. Here goes. All right, here we are, 45 minutes in. Let's take a look, see if we need to do anything. Nah, it doesn't look like uh, it's starting to brown nicely. I don't think we need to do anything. That uh, that chicken stand though poked a hole in my aluminum foil. I see it dripping through, so. Uh, hopefully I will still have enough uh, good stuff in that foil to work on my gravy. We'll see. All right, we are uh, at an hour, 20 minutes. Let's see what we've got going. Oh man, the top half is looking beautiful. Crisping up nicely. Our, uh, but the bottom half, isn't coloring like the top half. I think my foil, my little gravy juice capture is prohibiting the bottom half from browning uh, at the same time as the top. So I'm going to remove this and uh, let it continue cooking without the foil. And let's see if uh, the bottom half can catch up in terms of color. Man, I was able to capture some good uh, crusty brown bits from the bottom of that foil. This is going to be the start of uh, what I think is going to be a pretty nice gravy. We are Let's at see. the hour and 35 minutes. We're still running at 375. And we're going to give uh, our first temping. In the breast, 166. Thigh. 175. Folks, uh, we're going to call this good. I'm going to pull this and let it rest. Uh, lesson learned, that foil bolt that I created earlier to catch that, uh, the, the juices from my gravy prevented the bottom from browning like the top did. So something I wouldn't do again. But other than that, uh, very happy with this. All right, we've given this bird uh, some 25 minutes uh, to rest and uh, we are ready to see what we've got going here. This is Mama Joe's favorite part, the wings. Oh man, oh, comes off without a, without a hitch. <laughs> Ooh, all right, so we've got, we've got a lot of juices coming off of this bird. Nice crispy skin. Oh man, that's beautiful. No injection. No injection. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm not much of the 
bite me, man, but uh mm. Mm, mm, mm. Absolutely delicious. Herb butter, hickory roasted on the Traeger Timberline. Once again, guys and gals, uh, you can create your own combination of herbs. Uh, they're gonna be absolutely delicious. You can use fresh or dry, and this skin is so delicious. You can do wet or dry uh, herbs. I happen to have a, a ton of dry herbs here at the house, so that's what I went with. Again, nicely cooked. Guys and gals, absolutely delicious and so simple. This is something you can do very quickly uh, and have dinner or uh, the main course or uh, the main part of dinner ready for uh, the family in an hour or two. This took all about an uh, hour and 40 minutes. Once again, thank you so much for stopping in to check out Mom and Papa Joe's. Uh, if you enjoy what you see uh, and you haven't yet subscribed, what are you waiting on? Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring the bell uh, to make sure you get uh, notifications of our coming videos. Our next one is going to be a, a holiday gumbo, a holiday seafood gumbo. Really looking forward to that one. Should be within a week or so. In the meantime, I want, to take, uh, I want everybody to take care of yourselves. Uh, be good to each other and uh, enjoy what's left of the holidays or the upcoming holidays. I want you guys to have a Merry Christmas. Take care.